This is my neighbor's carrier air conditioner. It is a three and a half ton, 13 sear straight cool unit from 2007, just like mine. And I am doing this video to do a little um, comparison. My neighbor's house is the exact same floor plan as mine, except it is reversed because it is on the other side of the building. Same exact floor plan, same number of bedrooms, same square footage, which is about 2300, a little less than 2300 if you do not include the finished basement. The only real difference between my house and my neighbor's house is that my neighbor's house has a little more finished space in the basement. And the um, basement does not have that much of a heat load, so let's just say both houses are about a little just under 2300 square feet. So this is a three and a half ton carrier straight cool central air conditioner. Again, 13 sear. Um, it's got the Copeland scroll compressor, it has R22 refrigerant, and it's matched up with a carrier gas furnace. I'd assume that is either three and a half or four tons. And there is my neighbor's deck, built by the, um, the same people who are doing our deck. The only difference between our deck and their deck is that our stairs are going to go right here, and their deck is also made out of um, real wood instead of the timber tech. And as you can see, they just stain their deck. But yeah, this is my neighbor's central air conditioner. Now the comparison I wanted to do here is that my house has dual 2 ton 24,000 BTU air conditioners which adds up for a total of 4 nominal tons or 48,000 BTUs. And again, these are the same exact house, just a reverse mirror image because it's on the other side of the um, building. Same exact floor plan. And normally a house of this size would probably require a four nominal ton. But um, the, the, quality, the, the quality of the insulation plays a big role in that. And also this is a townhouse. So basically the interior wall has no windows. So that takes a lot of heat load off of the, um, the unit, so that is why this house is able to get by with um, three and a half nominal tons instead of four. And these houses are also very well insulated, and I forget if they have two by four exterior, the, the um, what the hell is it called? exterior wall framing or 2x6. I think all these houses are 2x4. Including mine and my neighbors. And the whole no windows on the interior wall thing is the reason why some of my neighbors have houses that are interior unit townhomes that are almost 3,000 square feet with the finished basement and they only have a 2.5 or 2.5 ton air conditioner. So my neighbors is 42,000 BTUs. My house is the same one but it has 48,000 BTUs combined cooling capacity. And as you can see they're building my deck right now. Now why my house has dual two tons and not a two ton and a one and a half ton, I do not know. They probably could have gotten away with putting a one and a half ton on the second floor, but I don't know I don't know why they um, put a two ton. So there is basically a half ton.
ton of diff of difference in cooling capacity between my neighbor's house and my house. But either way, I mean, it's not oversized for the upstairs. It, it, um, there's no, there's no, there's like, um, the, the issue with putting an oversized air conditioner in a house is that um, it will cool the, the house off really quickly, but it'll leave the house feeling um, clammy and humid because it cools the house off too fast and doesn't give it enough time to um, get rid of the humidity and clamminess and stuff and all that. So it'll cool the house off, but an undersized air con or an oversized air conditioner will leave the house feeling all all um, yucky inside and um, humid and disgusting. So, and also, the fact that it's upstairs, the upstairs on a really extremely hot day is, or even on a normal, relatively mild day, the upstairs is, is always typically five, ten, five to ten degrees hotter than the downstairs, regardless of how well the house is built and insulated. So that's um, the, um, pos the um, reasons as to why they put a two-ton on the upstairs in my house are endless. And I don't know why they did that, but I just thought it was interesting that my house has 48,000 BTUs of cooling, and um, my neighbor's house has 42,000 BTUs of cooling. When I... Um, read the um, data sheet on my neighbor's air conditioner for the first time, I was surprised. And my neighbor's AC is running over here, too. He, he doesn't care if I film his AC units. Yeah, this one is a two-ton. His house is three stories high, plus the finished basement. It's got... This unit right here does the... Um, First floor, second floor, and basement, and I believe it's either a two and a half or a three ton. And this one does just the third floor, I believe, and it's a two ton. And these are both straight cool units matched up with carrier gas furnaces. And my neighbor has an interior unit where both the, um, the side walls have no windows, so there's no... His house is over 3,000 square feet, but um, it's able to um, get by with less, with only like 4.5 or... Actually, you know what? That might be 5.5 nominal tons. I don't know if the, up, the, the primary unit for my neighbor's house is a 2.5 or a 3 ton, but yeah. Because these are townhouses and they don't, they have either no windows on one wall or no windows on both walls that's why they can get by with only um, uh, with with less cooling capacity than most people would think they actually need I was surprised too at first like I said when I deciphered the uh, decoded the um, data sheet on this unit I was surprised I expected this to be a four ton, but it, but it's a three and a half ton, and it is probably 90 degrees right now. It's going to be 93 degrees today. It's going to be hot as hell all week. The lowest it's going to be all week is going to be like 80, 88 or 89 degrees. I'm going to restart the camera here. Okay, I'm back. I was just um, running out on the 9 minute 41 second time limit there. I'm going to see if I can get the serial number off my neighbor's AC here. And it shut off. This is A. You know what? I don't know. Based on what it says, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say this is a two and a half ton. I believe that is roughly a two and a half ton right there. So yeah, four and a half tons total combined cooling capacity here. 
And this house is over 3,000 square feet, including the finished basement. So yeah, um, normally that house would require um, five tons, but because there are no walls on the, or no windows on the um, interior walls here, because it's a townhouse, that takes a substantial heat load off these units. Yeah, the majority of the interior units here just have one two and a half ton carrier air conditioner. And there are times, um, my neighbors have actually told me um, that on really hot days it's noticeably hotter upstairs and they probably could benefit from dual zone but for the most part the unit functions perfectly. And they can um, improve the performance by closing off the vents in the basement when they're not down there. I mean, there are 2,445 square foot homes in this neighborhood, and that's not including the finished basement, that have three ton units, and normally a house in this area would require about a four ton, depending on the insulation. So having no windows on one of the interior walls really takes off the heat load. Alright, so I just pulled the, um, the flowers out of the um, coil guard. My next door neighbor has just single zone. I love that they that they will spend. Look, it's about being you know putting on a spectacle. Right. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.